Yeah, but he can't remember that because he died. Well, uh, so Melton spoke with the Vikings. Now the Vikings want me dead. Even more so than before. Possibly. Just information I'm relaying that you thought might need. I appreciate it. This day gets better and better. Uh, thank you. Thank you, friend, for for the uh, the passing word. Most welcome. I bid you good day. You as well. You as well. Wait! Before you leave... Oh god. I need to... Ah, uh, oh, where'd she go? Oh, she's over there. Are there... Is there not, like, a fucking bush around here I can fucking eat? Yoy. You know Wienerlock, right? I know of him, yes. I want you to give this to him. Is there Don't not tell anyone. a berry bush for miles? Very well. If I need my services, just call on the radio. Ah, uh, thank you again for passing that information along. I will stay on my guard. You do that. Good day. Good day. Um, do you have any form of food on you? Uh, I believe both my bird and I are about to starve. Oh, excellent. Thank you. Not, not that. Oh. No, no, not this, though. Ah, oh, thank God. You literally just saved my life. Yeah. Yeah, Malou, so... Do you want to put the bird somewhere safe? Uh... Of course, yes, um, safe. Uh, well, this up here is safe. We're going somewhere, okay? Oh, yes, Just very well. Here. Following you. I've been thinking, Maloon. I've been thinking about a lot of things. This whole being queen and thought that's what was gonna bring me happiness. I really did. It doesn't sit right though, you know? Just Last few days, weeks. Well, there's been a lot I've going had fun. on. Oh, that's good. Fun's good. Been having fun with you. Oh well, I, 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 I have fun with you, and uh, all the. Crazy things that have happened. Why do this anymore, huh? What's oh. the point? Keep running away from danger, all the fighting. So where, where are we, um, 
Where are we going? I, I don't know yet. Oh, that Away bird. from people. Bird does not have enough food on it. Away from everyone. Just us. Me and you. Oh. Oh, this is fun. And probably the safest I've been in uh, quite a while. We should go where no one can hurt us anymore. Ah, oh, that would be nice. Hidden. We can just spend time together and not deal with politics and who's in charge of who. Just ask the open sea. Oh, it sounds like. Well, what was that thing that you wanted Strider to give to Wienerlock? I told Wienerlock it was over. I can't do it. I can't be tied down like that. There's so much left. There's so much I still need to do. Why waste it with him? Uh, so, you're, you're, you, you've ended it with him after being married only a few... I told him I was sorry. Oh, well, all right. Yeah. I like the fact you want to spend time with me. That's, I mean, kind of extremely nice. What else have I got? But the one person that stuck by me when everyone else turned their back on me. My friends wanted to see me dead. You were always there. Well, clearly, your friends don't know uh, what your true worth is. That's something I detected when we first met. Doesn't have to snap Wienerlock's neck now. Things changed. Everything changed. Everything changed when I took his hand. Everything changed when I met you. As cliche as that may sound, as fucked up as it may sound. Well, how did cha things change when you, you met me? I don't know, the prophecies, the readings, the... I saw you make the poop levitate. That's quite impressive. Fuck, I wish I had a big one. Do I have a big one? Oh, I do. I might be able to get her to go to a pukoon. So why not? Why not another adventure together? Somewhere where no one can take this from us. There'll be no one trying to stop any of us. No one trying to kill us. Well, you honor me in the fact that you would choose me to be the one to go with you on a new adventure. I, I must admit, I, I was kind of uh, heartbroken. Not only having to conduct a ceremony for you, but then knowing our time was coming to an end and you'd be too busy with Wiener Lock and leading armies and victory and such. And I thought, oh well, good old Maloon will just go back to his little hut by himself and just prophesize the prophet poops. I wasn't looking forward to it, because I've really enjoyed my time with you, Cheval. I've enjoyed it very much, more than you probably even know. I almost feel bad over the work that you put into everything, helping me, but I cannot. 
I cannot see this prophecy go through. I refuse to. It's not right. Ah, oh, well, I mean, it's just little old Maloon. I, I would not be missed that much should my prophecy come true. I would miss you. Really? You would miss me? I, I just... Of course. Kind of surprised at that. Not saying you're, you're cold or heartless, I just didn't think you would, you know, like... I mean, I'm just the guy who hides in pocoons, which obviously repulse you. Yeah, uh, well, the pocoons were a little bit weird. I'll give you that. That is a little weird. Um, hey, I'm not one to judge. Weird yet kind of effective. I have one on me if you'd like to try it. No, no, no. No, I think I'll pass. Do you see it on the horizon? I do indeed. That's the, the cliffs. The massive, massive. Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh Jesus Christ. Oh no. I, oh, oh no. Maloon might not be able to get back up. C oh. Come on. You can, oh. you can get in. Oh my god. On the side. Oh. 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 Wow. Thought I just saw my prophecy flash before my eyes as I do not deal with very well underwater. Ah. Oh. Sorry about that. No, no, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, yeah. Whew. That, uh, that scared me. I got your adrenaline going. Yes, yes, and water down my lungs, but that's fine. We can just move past it. That was a great moment. So, uh, we're going all the way to the edge of the world, I see. Yes. I'm sure it's safe there. I don't know where else to go, otherwise we're gonna just keep running. Well, I mean, there are places we could build, many spots I've seen. Um, you know, do not have, have many beings around at all. Things could cool down and eventually, and, uh, I mean, what, what do you want to do when we get to the end of the world? I don't, I don't know. But think about it, Maloon. I, I told the king that I was sorry. I was leaving him. There's nothing. I'll just have to keep running. So you want to leap off of the end of the world, from what it seems. Do you know what's down there? No. Have you ever seen it? I uh, know. I've never decided to try and tempt the fate of possibly not being able to get a bird back up. What if this isn't the end of the world? What if there's more down there? Mm, could be. Could be. Well, maybe right before we make the leap we should stop and just take, take it all in for a moment. A leap of faith. Hand in hand. You and I. Didn't you see this prophecy? Did you see this path? Oh, uh, no. No, I mean, you gave me gloves once, but you said don't make it weird, so I tried not to. But, uh, 
I must admit, uh, with all the suitors and things that I've helped you with, I was very, very jealous of them all. Wow, that is, uh, that is quite a sight to behold. Nothingness. Or is it? What do you say? Well, I've followed you into every foray that you have, you have tried to do. So I don't know if it would make sense if I didn't follow you into this. I care about I you. I fear this is where my path ends. Well, I, I care about you a great deal, Cheval. Far more than you probably ever knew. That so? Yes, yes, it is indeed. But I wanted to try and, you know, work, work towards your path. The things that, that you did want and need. I appreciate everything you've done for me. It was my pleasure. So? Shall we take that leap of faith? I'd follow you anywhere. I've seen the water. <laughs> 